Hello YouTube, welcome back. Uh, we've got a little bit of chill in the air over here at the cave. It's definitely cooled off. I do have a little portable heater. I've got the fireplace going, so we're all set there. I wanna go ahead and do the uh, balls on the SL600. So these four uh, hydrogen filled balls go on each corner of the car. And I wanna go ahead and get those installed. I can do that while I'm waiting for the uh, parts of the power steering pump, yeah, the ADS power steering pump. And you, you, it's might as well go ahead and do those because the pressure has to be off the system to do those balls. So it's a good time to do that. I don't anticipate that'll be very difficult. It's Saturday here at the cave. It's nice and quiet. This is why I do this. Uh, I just love coming over here. I'll give you a quick little spin around. So what I'll do is just hang out for a while. When I get frustrated or I'm waiting for a part to heat up, I'll throw a game up on the uh, screen there, kind of hang out, watch that. Or the pool table in the background, if I'm really gonna be, you know, 20, 30 minutes waiting for a part to clean up or something, I'll shoot a game of pool. Uh, you would think I would have more friends with a place like this, but most of my friends are not into this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm kind of a weirdo because the people that do the day job I do, not many of them are, are into this stuff. Today we're gonna get some stuff done. I'm gonna get these balls installed on the corners of this car and uh, that has to be done. So it's not exciting, but it can get done pretty quick, hopefully. And then uh, we'll pick it up from there. So follow along, thanks. Okay, don't rag on me. These aren't stage lights. I'm not, you know, trying to make myself look better. There's no camera trick in the world that could help with that or lighting. But I do need some good lighting to get in here and work on this car. So what we have to do is to get to these where these uh, kind of hydraulic suspension balls are. First thing that comes off is this panel here. So we got two 10 millimeter bolts. We'll take those off and see what's next. Four. It's off. Gross. Okay, so there we are. This is the uh, ball that needs to come out. Right here. There'll be some lines underneath there. We'll get some light on it and I'll show you what we're gonna do there. Okay, we're under the car. We have two uh, connections to take off. This is probably a return line, I would guess. And this is a supply line. So 11 metric flare wrench over here. Again, I'm not a huge, like you gotta buy every special tool, but you'll use these enough in your shop that uh, if you don't have a set of flare wrenches, you should get some. Shouldn't be too much fluid coming out of here since I have everything taken apart. But let's capture what does. In. Our. Tub. Of yuck. We'll borrow it from the Jeep since no Jeep's coming out of the, yuck's coming out of the Jeep right now. And we just let that drain for a while. All this fluid has to come out anyways because we're going to flush the system. Obviously, after I do all this, we don't want to put a bunch of yucky fluid back in it. All right, just let that drain for a while. Okay, most of the fluid is dripped out of the uh, connector over here with the 11. I've got that loose. This other one's a 19. I don't have a flare wrench that big, so I'm going to use a regular box end 19 metric to bust that loose. There is like a nut on the inside of this hose line fitting that would allow me to hold on to it if I needed to, that, to keep the torque off of the line, like the aluminum tubing. But I've already broken it loose. It wasn't too bad. All right, we'll let it drain some more and then we'll just pop off the uh, nuts that hold this whole ball on. There's one here and 
one here, maybe one over here. Okay, because of the way the lines are, or the nuts and bolts are on this, unfortunately, when I get uh, this nut backed off, now the, the stud is just spinning. And there's no way to get to it back behind here. So what we're gonna have to do is hopefully remove this nut here that mounts these solenoids to the same bracket that holds our little hydraulic ball here. So if we take this, this, and one more way back there, hopefully you can see that. Take those three out and this one off. Hopefully we can slide that whole bracket out of there and get to our uh, studs on the back of those, on the back of the bracket there. Okay, we're still making zero progress on the uh, heat pitman arm removal, but we are making a little progress on the uh, hydrogen ball. I'm about ready to blow the hydrogen ball up into the Grand Wagoneer. But we've got the bracket off. What we gotta do now is uh, on the back of it is a, let's see here, was this a five millimeter? Five millimeter Allen key. We gotta hold the back and turn the front to get the rest of this ball off there. Hope you could see that. All righty. There's our completed removed ball. Like everything, getting the actual ball off its bracket was nothing. It's just a matter of getting to it. So like I guessed with these hydrogen balls, uh, the first one was gonna be a bit of a learning curve. Definitely uh, taking that bracket off was better than trying to get the ball off the bracket. I think the next one though, those two uh, solenoids, it might be easier just to disconnect the line of that solenoid and uh, take the other side off that way rather than kind of fight and twist with getting that ball out of there on the bracket. So we'll probably be doing that on the other one. I'll show you that. But let's check this one out and see how it is because these look original to me. I'm guessing they are. Uh, it's a common failure on these cars. And I don't really know if these ones are bad or not, but while I was doing everything else to this car, let's go ahead and do these. So you can test them though. You can stick something down inside of them and see if that membrane is still there or if it's you know been uh, permeated and no longer doing anything. So we'll, we'll try that, see if this one's any good. We'll try it in the other ones too. Okay, so what I've got is my handy stethoscope device. Uh, this attaches to that thing you put on your ears and you can hear bearings and such. Car Wizard, great job with these. He's got them on his affiliate page. I think he gets a small cut. Feel bad for the Car Wizard, don't you guys? I don't think he and Hoovy are fine now, but that was kind of rough, I, I don't know. If, if uh, Hoovy had to do it over again, I'm sure he'd do it differently. I don't blame him. It's an expensive car, but eh, it was just kind of sad to see a couple of friends going through a rough patch. But I think it's fine now, right? I've seen the newer videos. Everything's good in the world. Uh, all of the uh, YouTube car folks are happy again that they're back together. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to stuff this uh, stethoscope into the old one and the new one and see how far it goes in. Now you don't want to use anything sharp here, right? On the new one, because the last thing you want to do is permeate or uh, blow that membrane of, uh, we're just getting ready to replace after I waited for all these parts. So let's see, I, I have no idea uh, if these, if these uh, hydrogen spheres need to replaced or not. We're just doing it because they break a lot. So this is the new one. Just goes in maybe what, an inch? That's about right. The old one. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, there's nothing there. That's hysterical. Wow. Nothing. Amazing. So, you know, what these hydrogen spheres do is they're basically the dampers for the for their suspension. And there's pressure on the back of them with the with the fluid. 
and it, uh, the front of it allows a certain amount to go in and out depending on whether the car is bouncing up or down. Well, if, if the fluid has no membrane to push against, obviously it can't create a, a damping and it's just not doing anything. So <laughs> obviously that one at, need, at least needed replaced. We'll check out the other three when we pull them off, but uh, definitely that one was due. So let's see if we can do some reassembly. Okay, now that we have this uh, old hydrogen ball off the car and off the bracket, we do need to uh, use the fitting that's on it with the new ball. I'll show you here. This is the new one. It does not have this brass fitting on it right here. So 19 millimeter, we'll pop that off, put it on the new one, be ready to install. Wanna watch me do it? Ah. Woo, that's fast. Okay, that's the driver side one done. So now what we're gonna do is just kind of fast forward through the passenger side. Just take the whole unit off as a bracket like I show here. Okay, so this is as old abandoned warehouse as it gets because I'm actually like in a weird little mop washroom tucked away in the back of the warehouse. It's actually in an area that they call a laboratory. I don't know what kind of laboratory it was, but we're gonna find out today. We're gonna do some work. So a cool company called Super Clean sent me this. Uh, I guess they were really impressed by my 136 YouTube subscribers. And they asked me just to try it out, see what I think. So. I haven't tried it. We're going to try it out and see what I think. This is that panel we took off that's, um, that covers up the hydrogen sphere there in that wheel well. And it's grimy and yucky and probably hasn't been cleaned up in 17 years. So let's just do what they say. Whoop. 
Nothing a super fun wouldn't clean up, I'm sure. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Way to go, super clean. This is the uh, super clean foaming, ready to just spray on there. Worked out pretty well. Okay, so this is it now after I dried it off a little bit. No armor all or anything. Really, it, it sits in there like that. That's the part that faces out. Really came out really nice. Pretty cool. Just dry it up a little bit. Slap it back on. Go super clean. Thanks. Okay, let's put this cover back on and button her up. I thought about leaving this off until everything is done, right? Because it's a good chance something could leak. But then I decided, well, if it's going to leak, it's going to be very obvious when it leaks. So. Okay. That's job done. So, you're not asking yourself at all why I'm not doing this one because I'm using Jedi mind tricks on you. There you go. How awesome is that? You're not even thinking. Why is he not putting that other screw in down there? It's not even occurring to you. You're just so happy and so amazed that you're not even thinking about why I'm not doing that. 